Hi, today's project is called Meet My Potato and we're going to be making a potato person from this simple product which is called a potato. <laughs> I'm going to have a helper today called Little Hands and Little Hands is going to help you see how to make a potato person. So let's get going. So today we're going to be using paint, a potato, I've got some q-tips and I'll show you what they're for later, and a little piece of card because when you've made your potato we're going to make an identity card for your potato saying where they're from and what their passions are and what their occupation is and perhaps they have a secret scar or something or you could make it like a Pokemon card with powers, it's up to you but let's get going making our potato so here comes Little Hands Little Hands has got her potato and now she's going to paint it she's going to, let's get going Little Hands, come on I think she's going to do a base colour first and then there are several tricks now. You see how that's a bit watery? She needs to have put a bit more paint on, maybe use a different brush, that one's rubbish. Put a bit more paint on. All over. And that's the skin colour. This is a blue potato from the palette. Blarty blah blah. Okay, now she's gonna get and do some detail. So we're going to make the eyes, we've made it very blue, and now we're going to wipe out with a Q-tip some of the eye, an eye hole, because you can wipe away the paint. That's great. And now we're going to get quite a blunt baby's knife, and we're going to gouge out a mouth. Can you gouge out the mouth, little hands? Being very careful not to stab yourself, obviously. Now we're going to put some detail into our potato, now that we've gouged out the mouth. We're going to start by doing an eye dot with the q-tip again, useful little q-tip tool there and we really loaded the paint on, we made it quite thick and not too wet and now we're going to put some some colour into the mouth yeah, looks good so now we've got the potato and if you let it dry you could maybe put some other colour in, like I think maybe some little cheekbones might be nice, a little bit of red ah, so that looks great and now let's move on to making the card Okay, now we've got to make an identity card for the potato. We've got a little card here, and we drew a nice box on it, and that's where the, the sort of passport photo is going to go. And then after when we've done that, we might put in a few details. So go ahead and draw the face. Now some of the details that you might want to put in could be the age, the eye colour, your um, where they were born, perhaps an ID number, a job, a special power. They might have... Um, a blood group, there's all sorts of things. Or they might be from another planet. You can make up some really funny facts. So here's the potato. Uh, have you got a name for him, Little Hands? I'm gonna call him Dr. Mabusi. And his age is 1,035. Does he have any special powers? We're going to have some special powers. His special power could be going invisible, or making himself into chips, or mashed potato. Yes, perhaps he has the power to transform into another form. And here's the final finished product. Little Hands is showing it to you now. His name is Dr. Bubusi. His age is 1035. His power is to transform into a chip. His job is chef, and he fears frying pans and fire. What a difficult life he must have. Have a great day.